Missing is the sort of unofficial sequel to Searching, starring John Cho, a film I loved and was a huge surprise. After her mother goes missing, a young woman played by Storm Reed tries to find her from home using tools available to her online. Okay, so I mentioned this in my review for Plane, the Gerard Butler, Mike Coulter movie that is actually about a plane, believe it or not, and was really good. January. Okay, seriously. What the hell's going on? January is supposed to be this pit. <laughs> and it's been really good. Like, this is truthfully the best January I have experienced in a theater the entire time I've been making videos. Megan, Plain, Skinnamarink, A Man Called Otto, but that technically was like a limited release from December, and now Missing, which is very good. I don't know what's going on but I'm very happy. And The Last of Us, which is not in theaters, but it just feels like Hollywood went, hey, January's free game. Why don't we just surprise people with movies? It's a great tactic. It's a really great way of spreading word of mouth when everyone just expects everything to be shit. And it's not, you wanna go tell your friends, hey, this is actually really good. If you've seen Searching, you basically know what Missing is going to be like. It's entirely from the perspective of a computer screen. There've been movies like this before, obviously Searching, but the Unfriended films, it's a very challenging thing to do for a writer because you are restricted, obviously, to the screen and what someone can do or what someone can type. They always have to find a way to show our characters or hear them. So June in this film does all of her calls through her computer and her phone is sort of just over there. And so we're able to hear her calls and, and sometimes see them through FaceTime. But they also get a lot out of what she types and what she doesn't type, what she begins to type and what she deletes, what she looks up and... The fun thing about Missing, similar to Searching, is that you begin to like this character a lot because she's clever. She makes really good choices, and she makes choices that you might make in the moment if you had certain technology at your fingertips. And it doesn't really break the rules of what someone could do from their computer. She's not just like mindlessly hacking things and figuring stuff out by chance. There are many times where she tries to break into people's emails or needing their password or something along those lines and she just can't figure it out. And when you think like, okay, this is when she's going to get it, she doesn't. And it's very difficult to tell a story that way, especially from the perspective of editing. This film is directed by the editors of Searching. And if you happen to listen to the first episode of my pre-production podcast, which was an interview with Sev Ohanian, you know that the edit process of both Searching and Missing is extremely detailed. This whole movie is a special effect. Every single shot that has to be recreated in perfect digital 4K quality of an iPhone or of Facebook or of Google Chrome or whatever it is that she's using, all of it has to be made. So the process of making a film like this is completely different from what you might expect from your standard narrative film. You can film everything Storm Reed is doing and she has to do her best to perform and understand what's happening on screen. And you got people in the background, but you also have to be aware of how you can create multiple camera angles in a film like this. And so there's a door cam. She'll take her phone sometimes with her or a camera on her watch. I just love that this film clearly isn't just a gimmick. It's not just, hey, how can we make a reasonably priced movie and uh, get it out there really quickly? Because they worked on this movie for many years and it shows. And the story flows seamlessly. I found it riveting. It's really a lot of twists. It's twists stacked upon twists. Every time you think that she has discovered something, you learn that she maybe just discovered part of it and it's completely different. This whole other world opens up and I can honestly say I had no idea what was going to happen. That's rare. Every time I felt like I learned something or I was on the ride with her as she discovered some information, it would shift. The whole movie would change. And Storm Reed carries you through this whole experience. She's wonderful in the movie. It's a really great showcase for her. And what works so well about her character is that she has this very difficult relationship with her mom early on in the film. Like her mom sends her a text that says, I love you, and she just gives her like a thumbs up. And so, like, when her mom disappears, she has to sort of realize just how much she truly loves this person. And when something that you love isn't there that you kind of took for granted, you get this reminder of, of, of how much you genuinely care about this person. I thought she played all that very well. They also found really great ways to suggest something sinister going on 
and you start thinking in your head all of these scenarios that someone might be going through because of a simple item that was purchased at a hardware store. And later they find ways to turn that around. And it's really rather brilliant. What I love about both searching and missing is that on the surface they look like gimmick movies. But they're not. A lot of care has gone into this story, as well as searching. If you haven't seen that film, definitely see that. And I would encourage you to go see this in a theater because these guys really care about storytelling and they're doing a great job. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.